Hi, welcome back. This time in our sessions about how to use some things in Global Bank, we're going to talk about how to create a purchase order. Purchase orders are under the vendors menu. And we look here on vendors and we see purchase orders. So when I click here, just like is pretty normal in the system, I get a listing of all the purchase orders that are currently in the system. And you see there's not that many. Well, because when we create a purchase order in Global Bank, then it's only there until it's fully received and then it goes away. So in order to add, to put one in, we're going to add. Let's click Add. And this brings up a blank form. The first thing we're going to need to decide is which vendor we're going to order from today. And I can do that just by here. I can double click in the vendor field. It'll bring me up a list of my vendors. And I can say that we're going to do this from, oh, let's do Flour Mills USA. Just for, just for fun. It automatically populates the company's uh, address and other information. It also puts in today's date for the order. Now, I can change this date. I can also, the reference is something that's auto-generated by the system. It's the next available purchase order number. Okay, date due and ordered and pre-allocated, those things will fill in later. Entered by will also self-populate with my username as soon as I save this. Okay, so I can actually save it and that'll save the header information we see that some of these fields populated now. Now we have a due date, now we have a total order, total pre-allocated, and we have entered by is all there. Now, if I'm going to be ordering an entire mess of things from this particular vendor, and I, I can click the add ingredients, and I can control whether that's all products from this vendor or whatever, and it'll automatically populate zero quantity wines everywhere. If I'm just going to order a single product, the easiest way is just to click anywhere here in the grid area, and that brings up our purchasing window. Product is whatever the uh, ingredient item code is, and I'm just going to purchase flour, which is FLR. It automatically brings up my description here and tells me that I buy it in tons, and I'm going to buy two tons. And I'm going to specify that the cost has changed. We're going to say that the cost is 11.25.75 per ton. Okay. And it tells me it cost is up 19%. Now that is just a quick calculation from the old standard cost to the new standard cost. And uh, right over here, I see that I have a field that says update STD CSD. It's update the standard cost. So when I save this it's, and receive this line, it's actually going to update the standard cost field on the ingredient for me. So there we go. If I hit save and exit, I've now created a purchase order for Flour Mills USA for two tons of flour at 11.25.75 per ton. Now, <clears throat> I don't have a value here and the receive or this receipt or the net because I haven't actually received this yet. Okay, we're going to cover the receiving of purchase order in another film. It's a quick thing. and uh, But we do have the total ordered amount, which we do see is 11.25.75 times two. Okay, so that's a good quick run around with this. You can print your purchase orders and to do that we go to print options and it gives us a couple of choices depending on how your system is configured. If I just want to print it, I just hit print and it'll preview it for me. And there's 40 or 50 different purchase order um, formats available in the system. This is just the one that's here today and apparently we don't have a uh, logo set up here but this is most likely where our logo would go. getting out of there. I can also print a good sheet and the good sheet is a receiving form. Someone, This is for someone to have out in, in the warehouse when it actually arrives. They can fill in the lot of what's coming in and you know do some different things and check off and this comes back to the office and you do your receiving from it. So that's the purchase order real quick and we'll go ahead and talk to you in our next session about how to receive this flower. Have a great day.